I always like this quote from Picasso. He says, it took me four years to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child. This is my coding career in a nutshell. Okay, now the way I code is probably even um, even more simpler than, than what kids are taught in school. Like I, what I'm trying to do is get rid of everything complicated, everything. And it took me a long time to do that. Um, and before I explain to you my method, um, I just want to warn you that you will be very underwhelmed by my coding style, meaning you will mostly likely just be like, uh, this is not enough. We need more, you know, like this is too simple. Things are more com com complex than that. And to that, I just say, don't fall into that. Okay, just don't. Uh, that's what most coders do. You know, they, they want everything but the kitchen sink in their uh, code base. But I say, no, get rid of everything. Get rid of the whole thing. And just start from just the only things that you need. I call it the desert island approach. Like, what are you going to put in your suitcase to go into a desert island? And that's how I code. Another thing uh, before I begin, I'd like to emphasize uh, a certain philosophy of mine. And that is, don't fanboy. Okay, don't treat technology technologies like clothes. I mean, you're just going to replace them every year, essentially. Like, that's that's the way technologies work. Okay, I've, uh, I've coded in many languages in my career, and nothing stays the same. Okay, everything changes in code. You see this uh, Fortran statement right here? This was popular in the 1960s, but now it's not, it's not even in use anymore. You know, what if I, I were to start this video telling you, guys, like, I have this, like, new amazing invention for you. It's, it's, it's this uh, punch card where we can program. I mean, maybe I would have said that in the 1960s and it would have been, like, a big deal. But that's my point is that you don't want to fanboy too hard, okay, because you can't. This is technology. This, it moves way too quickly, okay? Uh, what happened to Adobe Flash? Where is it now? Where is Microsoft Silverlight? Where is Backbone.js? Where is just just about every technology that, that you can think of um, has either like faded out or, you know, changed. I mean, you'll see me talk a lot about JavaScript, but I'm not really fanboying. It's more like it's the only language that does what my um, my method is. And I'll show you my method and then, you know, you can decide for yourself what languages to use. But just um, just keep in mind that this is just a philosophy of coding that I'm explaining to you. So if you remember in my last video, I talked about how there's two types of boxes. OK, there's the data box and the UI box. Those are basically the two main items that I'm coding with. Just two. OK, just in data. I mean, the data box is essentially like var. You know, every time you declare a variable, doesn't matter how com complex the variable is, it's just a variable, just a container, essentially. Um, and in UI, what we see, okay, is, is declared with these boxes, what I call a UI box. Or in uh, HTML, it's called a div. But that's it, just a var in code and a div in UI. Another thing that I want to emphasize is that notice that I'm just using, well, I'm just going to use one file, okay, just index.html. That's for the client. I mean, maybe I'll have server.js for the server, but just know that for the most part, I'm just doing everything in one file, okay? I know that you've seen many uh, crazy uh, frameworks that have like a whole tree structure of, um, you know, like some, some design pattern like MVC or something, or some crazy MVVM, or just some nutty, I don't know, just whatever design pattern they choose, and then they make a whole directory structure about it, and, you know, they, they make you uh, jump through all these hoops. No, I, I, don't, I don't do any of that. I don't, I don't have time for any of that, okay? I, I just use one file, index.html for the client, and maybe another file for the server. Now, if these files become, like, huge, right? And I'd say huge would be over like um, maybe over 5,000 lines. Then maybe I'll split it. 
But until then, I'm just using one file. That's the way I like to code. Some people, again, everybody codes differently. This is just the way I like to do it. Now, remember when I said that we have the data boxes? When I talk about data boxes, I just mean everything that's in script, okay? Just, just var, essentially, okay? And, um, and in markup, okay, this is H... By the way, if you don't know, this is um, what I'm coding in right now is JavaScript and HTML. Uh, there's not a lot of other languages that do what I'm trying to do. And, and, and by the way, my, my channel is Shy UI, so I'm, I'm primarily interested in UI development. I mean, I'm a full stack developer, but my main focus is UI because I just, I don't know, I just like UI, you know? I, I just like to, to deal with what the user sees. But one thing that I really like about HTML, and I haven't seen this in, a, in any other languages, really. I mean, you have, apart from from HTML, as far as UI goes, you just have C-sharp and Swift. You know, C-sharp would be like Microsoft stuff, like Windows, and Swift would be like Apple stuff. And the only other thing that we have really is just um, HTML, right? Unless you're coding in C++, but I'm just talking about for general programming, for really fast application programming. Not a lot of people use C++ anymore unless it's it's required for like um, you're doing something very specific, like either embedded coding or maybe you're coding a 3D game engine or maybe uh, you're coding a browser or just something that, that needs that amount of power. But for the most part, you know, to create any application these days, JavaScript is heads and shoulders above everybody else right now. And that's why it is the most popular language right now. This, this might change, okay? I'm not saying that this won't ever change. As I said earlier, you know, don't fanboy. Don't, don't really get too enthusiastic about technologies because they all change all the time. So what I'm talking to you about in this video, I, I just want to talk to you about a certain philosophy of mine. And that is I only use two, two things for the most part, for like 90% of my code. I'll have var and I'll have div. And that's it. Those are the only two things that I use apart from some like language syntax, which is like nothing that I'll show you. But for the most part, this is all I use. I have uh, like a way to store data and then I have a way to show data. See this uh, code right here? This is um, just an example from a few different um, frameworks and languages. This is C Sharp XAML. This is React and this is Angular. And just notice the one thing that all of them have in common. And that is components and types. You see, remember when I told you how JavaScript is typeless? Okay, like in script, you know, we just use var. Um, for some reason, somebody thought it would be a good idea to make the UI uh, not typeless, but to have hundreds and hundreds of types. Okay. And that's my point is that I don't want it to be, I don't want the UI to be like many, many different types. I want it to be primarily a div. See the problem with like code like this in C sharp or whatever in react, you have to keep track of like many, many types that you create. You know, each one might have, you know, different attributes, uh, different ways of working. You, you might have like a, a file for each one. Uh, it's just, it's just a ton of work. The thing is, what we're building is so is so simple. It's so trivial. A type is not it, it, it just is not required for it. Now, this is what my video is coming down to. OK, reusability is a myth. OK, you've been lied to. It's not the most important thing in programming. Because what are you reusing exactly here? What, what are you going to reuse between these apps? It's all different. You know, these buttons are different than these buttons. And, you know, um, this, this screen is different from that screen. Um, here it has like a list of these uh, boxes, but here the, it doesn't. So what are you reusing when you go in between all these apps? And the answer is a big fat 
zero, nothing. You're not reusing anything. You know, most of these apps are very, very simple. See, like they're just made up of um, of divs, as I said. They're not, don't give them a type though, you know? I mean, everything can, can be a div, everything, trust me. Or maybe not everything, but 90% of stuff are just like divs. Now, sometimes boxes have images in them. That's fine, but I'm not going to make its own type. It's just a box with an image in it. See, most of these um, of these libraries will try to convince you to use components. See, like I have like a million components I could use. But for me, that's just the wrong way to look at it. See, I see it as a graphic design problem. I don't see it as a coding problem. This is a uh, very trivial code. You know, for example, do I need to reuse something that looks like this that just has like a few buttons that I can press? Or, you know, do I need a reuse button? Um, a card, you know, this is just, this is just a square. This is like three squares. I'm not gonna reuse something like that. I mean, a date picker, okay, maybe, but I don't know, even, I mean, but this is still pretty easy. But maybe, you know, if you're kind of hard up and you don't feel like doing it, then yeah. But the majority of things here, I'd say like 90% of things here don't need a component. I mean, this is all like trivial. Everything here is super trivial. Okay, maybe this I'd make as a component, sure. But I wouldn't like do this whole big like um, where I need to... Um, you know, use like a big honking library to do that. I'm gonna make my own component that does this. You see, I see the same problems again and again in programming, like this slider, I've seen it a million times before. These things happen again and again, or like a tab, you know? I mean, this is so simple. This definitely doesn't require a component or text fields don't require a component. See, as I said, this is more a graphics design problem. And by the way, when I say that something doesn't need a component, I'm saying you don't need like to have dependency on like a big library to provide you with components. I mean, you can create your own very, very minimal components. Okay, as I said, like if I had this thing in my page like five times, then sure, I'd make a component, but I, I would be the one that creates it. So that's basically my uh, my coding strategy is that the programmer creates everything. Um, I mean, he creates his own components. Okay, it's not like we use any kind of libraries to, co to create components. It's just, it's too trivial. Like these are just boxes. The whole thing is just boxes. It's so simple. It's a graphics design issue. So what do I mean by it's a graphics design issue? Like to me, I mean, applications should look like super customized, like every application you create should be different. And that's what the clients will expect too. You know, they don't want their application to look like just like everybody else's. Everybody wants custom design. And so to me, it's more of a graphics problem. Now, programmers traditionally like can't stand graphics, right? I mean, they, they, they're, they're not the best designers or artists, okay? So they gravitate towards um, reusing everything. See, another problem with using components is that it becomes very, very difficult to customize them. I'm talking about like using other people's components. Like for example, if you wanted to use um, a UI library like this, it's just, um, it would become very difficult to customize it because you'd have to go through the person's code to, to do it. Whereas if you do it by yourself from scratch, it's very easy to just lay out these boxes. I mean, I'll show you. That's what my whole method's about. I'm a box expert. I'm a expert at laying boxes. It's like laying bricks, but like in UI. That, that's, that's, the, that's the skill here, guys. Like it's so, it's sim it's so simple. You'll see. But the moment you start bringing all the types and all the stuff into it, well, I mean, you're just, um, you'll be spending a lot of time. 
just trying to get somebody else's library to work for you. That's going to take forever. Trust me. That's what takes the most in programming is trying to, um, you know, shoehorn somebody's design into yours and like make it work appropriately. It takes like a ton of time because you're usually like working with somebody else's code and the way they designed it and stuff like that. It's just not efficient. It takes too long. So join me in the next episode. I will I will show you how to use just one element. Just this element, div. It's the only element you need. Well, that in var. And a few little other th syntaxes, but that's about all you need. Again, my programming style, I just have one file. <laughs> okay, this is going to be super simple because I only have two types. I have var and div for the most part. Okay, sometimes I'll throw some other tags in there, you know, like image or... Um, but for the most part, it's, um, yeah, it's like 90% divs. And I'll show you why that makes everything so much easier.